Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to take a closer look at an ultrasonic cleaner. This is a 1.3 liter model number is Y-009. It's a rather no name or just the brand is ultrasonic cleaner but uh, the power is 60 watts for the ultrasonic uh, transducer while the heating power is rated for 100 watts. It can do 5 to 90 degrees Celsius and it has a timer adjustable between 1 and 30 minutes but that should be plenty for the cleaning operation. The usable area inside I've measured to be 125 by 115 by 40 millimeters depth which is not a lot but I've thought about it and this is pretty much all I need. 99% of the PCBs I design fit within these dimensions so it's not worth getting a bigger ultrasonic cleaner because it will take up more space on the bench and it will use up more cleaning liquid it would just be a waste of resources if 99% of my boards already fit inside this unit by the way this unit was provided for free by banggood.com for the purpose of this review and I encourage you to check out the links in the description below they sell many different models on their website and you might want to clean entire laptop motherboards for example after being reworked in which case you will need a bigger ultrasonic cleaner to be able to put the uh, motherboard uh, inside of one of these this is the first ultrasonic cleaner that i'm using i haven't had one before and i never used one before the purpose here is to use it for cleaning pcbs in the lab but it's not limited to that you can also use this for cleaning jewelry and other small parts the working principle here is that we have an ultrasonic transducer which is coupled to the uh, bottom of this uh, unit and in this case it's a 60 watt rated transducer which is driven at a resonant frequency which is typically around 40 kilohertz and the resulting uh, waveforms coupled to this uh, uh, unit will agitate the cleaning liquid which produces the so-called cavitation bubbles the agitation will produce high forces on contaminants which are stuck to the objects and it can penetrate blind holes, cracks and the recesses that would otherwise be hard to reach for manual cleaning. Ultrasonic cleaners will also typically have a built-in heater to further enhance the cleaning action because some cleaning liquids are more effective when they're heated. In our case we have a 100 watts rated heater built into this ultrasonic cleaner. The cleaning liquid can be just uh, distilled water but the cleaning effect will be enhanced if a proper solvent is used according to the type of cleaning that needs to be done. For example if you're cleaning PCBs it's best if you use a cleaning solvent designed specifically for the type of uh, flux that your board uses and uh, for today I have uh, this um, uh, water-based cleaner for PCBs. This is made by Thermopasty and can be easily obtained in Europe. I will be performing a few different tests today. I would like to see what kind of cleaning we can get with uh, just distilled water versus dedicated cleaning liquid on a few different uh, fluxes. I will be trying uh, Amtec uh, 559 gel flux. This is a well-known flux. I will also be trying the uh, yellow paste flux which I recently showed in a mailbag video. Uh, I also have this uh, paste flux from Mechanic. I have solder paste from Mechanic that has some kind of uh, uh, flux inside the uh, composition of the paste. And I also have some rosin based uh, flux inside this solder wire. And I will be applying these on one of my test PCBs. I will be heating them just like you would normally do when soldering and then we'll try to clean the boards. The cleaning liquid that I mentioned is from AG Thermopasty and uh, it does mention on the label that it will dissolve uh, rosin residue but I don't know what to expect. In my experience rosin based flux is pretty hard to clean off and requires some isopropyl alcohol or acetone to be used for cleaning but we'll see if this can do the job in the ultrasonic cleaner. I've placed these on my specially designed PCB and heated them at 300 degrees Celsius as I would normally do for soldering. First I will run the cleaner with some distilled water, I will uh, set it for 70 degrees Celsius and let it run for 20 minutes. Next I repeated the test with the water based uh, cleaning liquid with the same settings and duration. 
After taking the boards out of the cleaner, I rinsed them in a bath of distilled water and dried them using compressed air and some paper towel. So now let's uh, inspect the boards and see what kind of results we got. On the left we have the uh, uh, distilled, the board cleaned with distilled water and I've also marked this one with a W. So we can see there is plenty of residue left on this uh, PCB. I'm not happy with the results at all. Uh, just a uh, distilled water put inside this ultrasonic cleaner will not be able to remove this uh, flux residue. We basically have flux residue from all of the products used. We have the least amount of flux residue left on position number two, which is the uh, yellow flux is this one but still these are not uh, good results the board cleaned with the special solvent looks uh, much better uh, there is almost uh, no residue left at all it completely uh, cleaned the residue left on positions one two and three and these are the amtech 559 the yellow paste flux and the mechanic paste flux uh, we do have a bit of residue left for positions 4 and 5 and um, those are the uh, mechanic solder paste and the solder wire which likely contain some flux based on rosin. So this water-based cleaner was not able to completely remove that uh, rosin residue. That kind of residue can probably only be cleaned with some alcohol-based uh, cleaner but Watch this, I've marked this board with W and this one with C for the special cleaning solution and um, in this case with the cleaning solution it completely removed the uh, paint based marker that I used on this PCB. Some people will mix in some isopropyl alcohol with distilled water for better results. Some people add a drop of dishwash liquid and a drop of acetone. And that makes sense because it will act as a surfactant and uh, uh, help remove residue from the board while at the same time dissolving the rosin residue. I haven't tried those but uh, I might try them next time. I might add a few drops of uh, isopropyl alcohol and a drop of acetone inside this water-based cleaner uh, just to make it more capable at the dissolving the uh, uh, rosin-based uh, residue. In fact, if you look at the composition of commercial cleaning liquid, you'll find it contains IPA as well as acetone. There are warnings for not using flammable cleaning solutions in an ultrasonic cleaner. You want to be careful with those, but having some IPA diluted in water in, let's say, a 1 to 5 ratio is going to be pretty safe and I, I would imagine pretty effective. While using the machine, I've noticed a few things uh, that I don't think are okay. For example, it took half an hour to heat up from 22 degrees Celsius room temperature up to 70 degrees Celsius. So you have to remember to turn this on before you actually need it. Regarding the construction of this unit, there is only one small thing that I don't like, which is the small handle on the lid. It's really uncomfortable to use this to grab the lid, especially when it's uh, hot. But I'm nitpicking here, it's not something big. And uh, although this is running at 40 kilohertz and you're not supposed to hear it, uh, the unit makes quite a lot of noise. You'll definitely hear it in the same room and probably consider the noise irritating. Uh, here's a picture, I've used my sound meter and uh, quite close to the unit I measured 80 decibels. It's best if you run this in a different room or as I've read on a forum, some people place them inside a picnic cooler and seal it off to block the noise. But that could pose a fire hazard so don't let it run inside that box unless it's supervised. And now it's time for the conclusion. This machine, even with all of its small quirks, works fine and will get the job done in a small, compact and efficient form factor. But keep in mind, you do have to use a proper uh, cleaning liquid to help the machine do the job right. If you use just distilled water, it's not going to provide the best results. I haven't used something like this before, so it's possible that the small quirks that I found are also present on other machines. I think it's not bad for the price either. This was like $100 on Banggood when I received it. But do you actually need to get yourself one of these? Well, if you do occasional soldering as a hobbyist, probably not. 
you are fine with cleaning your boards with IPA, uh, acetone or cleaning sprays and wiping with paper towels. But if you sell something on Tindy or make any kind of professional PCBs, then this is probably a good idea because you will end up with a nice looking clean board to send to your customers. Also, if you do uh, laptop motherboard repairs, it's a good idea to clean them in an ultrasonic cleaner because you can remove uh, a lot of the problems just by cleaning the board. And if you divide the cost of the machine by the number of bo boards it will clean in its lifetime, it will make it look very inexpensive. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you can also use this to clean a variety of other parts, jewelry, car parts, etc. Anything you can think of, not just PCB, so it might add more value to your shop. That was all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the links I've placed in the description below the video. As usual, I would appreciate your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time with a new video.